I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got at the flea markets when I was in Berlin. I have a cup of tea and a huge pile of clothes, so let's start. I want to start off with something that is definitely one of the favorite things that I got. And maybe this might be in the run for being one of my favorite clothing items ever. Look at this sweater! This sweater has such a nice pattern. And what I love about it, it has ochre yellow and burgundy red in the sweater and those are my two favorite colors it looks really nice with my hair i think and when you get these grandpa sweaters on flea markets or in thrift stores a lot of the time they're pretty oversized which is something that i like but i do have quite a few oversized sweaters and this one is actually my size it's not too big and that's really cute it was four bucks i would have paid a lot more for this most of the things that i bought on this flea market are actually summer items so I'm happy that I also got a nice warm sweater for this winter. Talking about things for summer, I got this yellow dress with flowers on it. It's a very simple floral pattern. I got this dress for the print and for the color. I really love yellow, but it's also very soft and flowy. And it's a high-waisted dress. I really like to wear high-waisted things because I have a smaller bosom, a small waist and bigger hips. I think high-waisted things look really nice because it accentuates my waist and my hips. It's originally by H&M. I paid two euros for this. Definitely worth it. Very excited to wear this. This skirt is actually the first thing that I bought that day. And the colors really drew me in. This is not something I would usually pick. It's a maxi skirt and I first wasn't sure if I was gonna buy it, yes or no. But the colors really do it for me. The pink with the ochre. I think it's really nice. This is originally again something by H&M. Yeah, here's the tag. And it is size 38. Now that's way too big for me. With skirts I am in size 34. So if I want to wear this I have to do some sewing. I have to make the elastic band smaller so that I can wear it. But I thought it was going to be worth it. The skirt was 3 bucks. Originally 4 bucks but I haggled the price down to 3 bucks. I'm really cheap. <laughs> now the next item you might have already seen in my vlogs, it's Teddy. I've wanted a teddy bear backpack for years. And I looked for a backpack like this on every single flea market and every single thrift store. And when I would find them, they were really, really small because these backpacks, I mean, they're made for kids. They're not made for 25 year olds like me. Um, and sometimes they were so small that you could barely fit anything in the actual bear because there's a zipper in the in the belly teddy is quite a bit bigger so it fits a water bottle and a phone and a camera so i can actually just wear this as a backpack on its own it has cute little straps and when you wear him it looks like he's hugging your back and i think it's so adorable i really like this it is exactly what i wanted <laughs> i can adjust the straps a bit so he's up higher or he's just chilling <laughs> like that when i was walking around berlin a lot of people commented on him not just children but grown-ups as well and people saying that they liked it asking me where he was from or just laughing at it thinking it was a little bit strange so this is definitely a statement piece it's a freaking teddy bear <laughs> i guess i could also wear him in the front and then it's like i'm a mom <laughs> with a fluffy baby Teddy was two euros. Just two euros. You were a steal, weren't you? His face is really derpy. He's kind of smashed. I think he was in a box for a long time, so his face is kind of flat. I also got this psychedelic shirt. The print is so cool. It says Radio Moscow. Magical dirt. I don't know what that is. Probably a radio station in Moscow or something or, or a band or an album. I thought the print looked really well with my hair and my skin color. The shirt itself, maybe not the best with my skin color, but this shirt is so red. I'm sorry, but this is so cool. I used to wear a lot of this stuff. I used to dress a little bit stereotypically hippie and I was really into psychedelic prints stuff like this would really float my boat it still does I still have a weakness for these psychedelic hippie shirts and I thought this was really perfect I don't remember what I paid for it I think I paid three euros for it or two not a lot that's for sure I also got a yellow pancake it's a hat um what's what are these called again beret a beret a beret that's what I got a yellow one I love yellow 
still figuring out how to wear it best, but it's really cute. It was one buck. I think it looks nice. It goes nice on my hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice, it's like a halo of yellow around my around my face. Ah. I also got shoes. These are creepers. They're not original tuck creepers, so it's not real suede. It's fake, it's also not real leather. I love platforms. They give you a bit of height, but also still some comfort. They're more comfortable than heels to me. These were a little bit expensive for the flea market. I paid nine or eight euros and it's not too bad for shoes, but for flea market, this is more on the expensive side, but I think they're really worth it and I'm very excited. I got pants. I got pants. I am not the pants kind of girl. I like skirts or leggings, yoga pants, stuff like that. A lot of the time pants make me feel very restricted. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm trapped in my own clothes. I really don't like that. It has to be a little bit loose fitting. And I just really like the girly look of skirts. But I found these on the flea market and I know that I had to try it because these are high-waisted green pants. And since I colored my hair orange, I like to wear green more often because it just goes really nicely together. And these pants are so stretchy and also they were one euro. So, I was pretty sure I was gonna fit in them and if I wasn't gonna fit in them they were one euro and then I can gift them to someone else or uh, donate them. And they're somewhere between leggings and high-waisted skinny jeans. Girls, they make my body look really good. They hug tightly in all the right places and I actually think I'm gonna get some wear out of these. Pockets in the back. I don't know what I'll put in here. What do you put in back pockets of leggings? I don't know. The brand is called Poof. I don't know where you would buy anything by poof apart from on this flea market. Not everything was such a good buy though. I also made some mistakes on the flea market. The thing with stuff on the flea market is you can't try it on. So sometimes I buy things that actually don't fit me or don't look as nice on me as I thought. Or I make a really stupid mistake and I buy something that's actually damaged. And that happened with this top. It's a really cute top, but it has holes in it. No, that's not good. I'm gonna try and fix these tiny holes. There's some more over here too. But I'm not sure if that's, that will be successful. It's a waist though, because I think this is really nice. It's a top that wraps around your body. And then you tie it in the front or in the back with these cute cords. Is this millennial pink? Maybe. It's like a very soft powdery pink. It was one euro by the way. So it's not a huge financial loss, but still it's a waste. These are three items that are all by the same shop, by Mint and & Berry. And Mint & Berry is a brand that I quite like. They make very feminine clothing. Stuff with cute colors, floral prints, nice vintage patterns. And that really fits my style. They also do a lot of lace and cute buttons. But it's not the cheapest brand. It's not incredibly expensive, but for someone that likes to pay one or two euros for something on the flea market then paying for let's say 50 or 60 bucks for a dress is just mm, i probably won't spend that kind of money on clothes so up until now i owned nothing by the brand and then on the flea market i found three things with three different sellers by mint and berry i'll start off with this beautiful dress that's kind of out of my comfort zone because of the color but the fit is stunning it's a beautiful blue dress and it kind of reminds me of a Harry Potter school uniform. The buttons on the front are freaking cute. It's very well made, it's soft. Now I just have to be comfortable enough to wear blue. I feel like this dress has a vintage feel without being a vintage dress. It was two euros. Two euros. I'm so lucky. <laughs> then another mint and berry item. This is a dress that I got for four bucks. Burgundy red. I've said it before. I love it. This dress also has cute buttons and like the other dress It kind of has that vintage feeling without being vintage I just really like this brand and I think this looks cute on me between the two of them this burgundy dress and this blue dress I like the blue dress better 
but I am pretty sure that I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this burgundy dress because it's gonna be really easy to combine this with all the other stuff in my closet. And then this is the last mint and berry item and it's this top. It was one euro and 50 cents. It has a really nice dark blue color on a burgundy shirt. <laughs> It also has nice details at the sleeves. This is one of those clothing items when you feel them, you just know it's gonna be so comfortable on your skin. The fabric is really nice. So one day I owned nothing by Mint and Berry and all of a sudden I owned three things by Mint and Berry. And I probably spent less on everything that I got in this flea market than if I would have bought one dress in the actual store. This is one of those uh, colors that you put underneath another clothing item. Clothing. Clothing item. <laughs> If you wear a button down underneath a sweater, it can be a little bit uncomfortable. But this way you can still have that cute little color underneath your sweater without having to wear a blouse underneath. The color is made from lace. It's a floral pattern that goes all the way around to the back. It doesn't say which brand it is, it just says it's polyester and cotton. This was also one euro and this was from the same girl that I bought the shirt with the holes from. This one does luckily not have any holes. I like how it can turn any old sweater into something more fun. I got this super simple t-shirt top by American Apparel. I love American Apparel. I've never actually bought something in the store, but when I see stuff by them on the flea market, I almost always buy it. It always fits so nicely. I have some leggings by American Apparel. Perfect. This is a dark gray crop top and it's just a perfect crop top. If I would design a crop top, this would be it. I think this top is pretty versatile. I could see myself wearing this when I work out, but I can also see myself wearing this to a club or to bed. It's really comfortable. For one euro, I got this red dress that is originally by ASOS. I also own quite a few things by ASOS and again, I've never ordered anything on the website. I always get it on the flea market. I think the dress is designed to have a slit on the back. I really like things with an open back. I'm wearing something with an open back right now as well. But I think you can also put the slit in the front. Get your hoe on. It looks really nice with a nice bra, I think. It is very stretchy and that makes it very comfortable to wear. How did I get this for one euro? <laughs> And it's just the right kind of red with my hair because sometimes I get things that are almost the same shade as my hair and then my hair just kind of fades away in the dress. But this is enough contrast that I could pull this off, I think. I got quite a few things, as you guys might have noticed. We've gone through quite a few items and there is still more stuff. This dress I got at the beginning of the flea market and I think if I would have seen it on the end, I probably wouldn't have bought it just because I got so much stuff. But I'm quite happy that I did get it because it's really different from anything that I own. I'm not sure what this color is, is this turquoise? I have nothing in turquoise. It's really great with my hair. It fits my body very nicely. I like that it has long sleeves, but then it's cut quite short at the leg, so it's kind of sexy, but not, but doesn't show too much skin. Not that there is something as showing too much skin, you can show as much skin as you want. If you like that, you do you. It's by the brand Promod. Promod? I've never been there, never shopped there, don't know anything about the brand, but they uh, made a nice dress that I bought. Maybe this is a bit weird, I don't know. I got leggings at the flea market, and before you're gonna tell me, ew, why would you buy leggings on the flea market? They were still in the packaging, <laughs> they're inside out. I already worn these, that's why they're outside of the packaging, and they're inside out. <laughs> They just came out of the washing machine. These were kind of for free. I bought something else with the person that was selling these leggings. And then I haggled off one euro and these were one euro. So I kind of got these for free. I can't say much about it. It's just yellow leggings. And they're the kind that rise up really high. So they keep your belly nice and warm. They're also in a very large size. I think they're like an extra large. And I need that for leggings. If the leggings are really tight, I don't feel comfortable. I want to feel like I'm wearing pajamas. If I buy leggings in store, I will get a large or an extra large. I will get a size 46, just so I can be super comfortable. And then for just 50 euro cents, a really cute pink dress. It looks like it has polka dots, but it's not polka dots. It's little hearts, high-waisted, with cute buttons at the front. The dress also has pockets. For some reason, I always really love when dresses or skirts have pockets, even though I never put anything in the pocket. The dress is kind of cutesy with the soft pink and little hearts. 
and the way it's shaped. For four euros, I got this cute little black dress. And I can see from the tags that are cut out that it's probably a dress by H&M. It's a little bit see-through. This person <laughs> smells so nice. I haven't been washing detergent, so I keep smelling the stuff that I washed. This dress is again the kind of shape that I like. High-waisted, flowy at the bottom. It is see-through at the top, but the pockets that are over the breasts are not see-through. Which is good for me, because I'm not the biggest on bras. One of the perks of small boobs is that I don't feel like I need to wear a bra. And that's very comfortable. Then I also got these shorts and I said before that I don't like to wear pants. It's a different story with shorts. To be honest, what drew me in is the yellow color, but also the belt. I think the belt is really nice. You can make a nice bow in it at the front. It has nice pockets. I'm kind of bummed out that it's way too cold to wear this right now. And I don't think it will look nice with black leggings underneath it. So I'll wait until it's summer to wear this. It's also very silky on the inside. It, there's no actual silk here. But that feels really nice on your legs when you wear it. Then another dress, and this one was for free, actually for free. I was at the end of the flea market and I asked the lady how much the dress was and she said, you know what, just take it. I'm gonna go home in 10 minutes, I'm gonna pack my stuff, everything I don't sell, I'm gonna donate anyway. So if you want the dress, there you go. And she said, if you want anything from this table, just take it. But I only took the dress that I was interested in from the beginning. It has these two very earthy colors, which I'm very drawn to, the more warm earthy tones. I also like the shape of the dress, the way that it's high-waisted. But then again, this was something I didn't try on because I was on the flea market and I don't know if this looks good on me. Let me know what you think, guys. I'm not sure if it works with my skin tone and with my hair. I think the skirt part, the red, that that fits nicely with my skin tone. But the brown bit, I think that might not. Yay or nay? <laughs> Don't give the video a thumbs down if you think the dress doesn't look good. Give the video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments whether or not the dress looks nice on me. <laughs> this is another free item. What I've noticed on flea markets in Berlin, I haven't seen this in the Netherlands, but when the flea market is ending and people are going home and they don't want to take their stuff home, they just leave their stuff at the flea market and they put a sign there that says to verschenken, to verschenken. My German pronunciation is not the best, I'm sorry. But it means that they're gifting it away, so you can just take it. So I only took one thing from the free stuff pile, and that's this dress. And what I liked about it are the sleeves. The sleeves are kind of like petals, like flower petals. This is again one of those things where you feel the fabric and you just know it's going to be so comfortable. I got this really, 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 really pretty dress for four bucks. It's a soft pink. Is it a bridesmaid's gown? Maybe? The skirt is really flowy and long and I feel like <laughs> this is kind of from a Disney movie. This is what a princess wears. It's so nice. The sleeves have beautiful detailing. Please invite me to your weddings because I now have dresses to wear to weddings. <laughs> invite me to your event. I don't know, I need somewhere to wear this to because this is so pretty. I don't remember what this skirt cost me. A euro or 150. It's a burgundy skater skirt. Skater skirts are my favorite kind of skirt. And I don't know why I don't own a burgundy skirt yet. I know I'm gonna get so much wear out of this little skirt right here. You guys are probably gonna see this skirt very often. It's also very comfortable. It has this elastic band at the waist. It is an H&M skirt. We've arrived at the last item. Like this wasn't enough stuff. It's an ochre yellow vest. Something that I didn't have yet. I love it. I won't button it down because it has buttons up until the boobs, like hair, and I don't really like that. I want either want things to button up all the way or not button up at all. So I'll just keep it open like this. I think this is H&M again. Yeah. It's an H&M vest. It cost me one euro, which is a steal. It's gonna be a very, very, very long time before I buy clothes again, because this was a lot of stuff. My favorite item of everything, clothes-wise, is this sweater, but Teddy is my favorite item. He's a fun friend. I wanna thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this more chatty show blog. I was in a very talkative mood, and I really enjoyed filming this. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are doing good. And if you're not doing good, I'm sending you a really big hug and Teddy is also sending you a really big hug. Teddy has one last thing to say. Please subscribe to Leslie Ann's channel.
she would really appreciate it and give her a like. Bare necessities, the fairy bare necessities.